This is the Boeing 747-8i, the largest passenger aircraft flying since its launch in 1968 until the Airbus A380, and still one of the largest and longest airliners ever produced. During the late 1990s and early 2000s, Airbus was aggressively developing the A380, a double-deck aircraft with unprecedented passenger capacity that posed a serious challenge to the market dominance of the 747. In response, Boeing launched a feasibility study to explore new possibilities for the 747 family, leading to the announcement of the 747-8 program in November 2005, which aimed to modernize the 747 design while incorporating advanced technologies from the Boeing 787 Dreamliner program to improve efficiency, capacity, and operating costs. Its fuselage was extended by 18.3 feet or 5.6 meters, increasing the aircraft's total length to 250 feet or 76.3 meters, making it the longest commercial aircraft in the world. This stretch allowed the 747 to accommodate up to 467 passengers in a typical three-class configuration. Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Boeing 747-8i. Stepping inside, the cabin is configured over two levels, offering a main deck and a distinctive upper deck that retains the classic humpbacked appearance. The cabin is one of the most spacious in the industry. The width measures 20.1 feet or 6.1 meters, which is comparable to the earlier 747-400, but benefits from a slightly taller ceiling due to redesigned sidewalls, enhancing the sense of openness. The overall fuselage length is a staggering 250 point 2 feet or 76.3 meters, making it the longest passenger aircraft ever produced. The standard cabin layout varies, but a typical three-class configuration can accommodate approximately 410 to 467 passengers. In a standard three-class configuration, the first-class cabin usually seats between 8 to 16 passengers in either a 1-1 or 121 configuration on the main deck. The business class cabin typically holds 80 seats in either a 2-2 two -two or 1-2-1 one -one arrangement, often split between the upper deck and the forward section of the main deck. The economy class cabin can accommodate between 300 and 380 passengers in a 3-4-3 layout across most of the main deck. Some airlines opt for a higher density layout, accommodating over 500 passengers by utilizing a two-class configuration. The upper deck, though reminiscent of earlier 747 models, slightly longer, allowing for additional business class or premium economy seats. The overhead bins are designed to hold modern carry-on luggage, offering about 15% more storage space compared to the 747-400 and feature a clean, curved design. In premium cabins, there are dedicated storage compartments for personal items, while the business class bins are oversized to accommodate larger carry-ons. Seating comfort varies significantly based on the airline's specific configuration. In economy class, seat widths typically range from 17 to 18 inches or 43 to 46 centimeters with a pitch of 31 to 32 inches or 79 to 81 centimeters. While this is standard for long haul flights, the 343 arrangement can feel cramped. Premium economy seats offer more space with widths of 18.5 to 19 inches or 47 to 48 centimeters, and a pitch of 36 to 38 inches, or 91 to 97 centimeters, providing a more comfortable experience. Business class seats are generally fully flat and range in width from 21 to 24 inches, or 53 to 61 centimeters, with a pitch of 55 to 80 inches, or 140 to uh, 203 centimeters, depending on whether a staggered or herringbone layout is used. These seats typically provide direct aisle access and significant privacy. First class seats where available can reach up to 30 inches or 76 centimeters in width and convert into fully flat beds with a pitch of up to 90 inches or 229 centimeters, ensuring maximum comfort. The 747 is equipped with Boeing's advanced in-flight entertainment system, featuring high resolution, large screens across all classes. First in business class screens, range from 15 to 23 inches or 38 to 58 centimeters, while economy class screens measure around 10 to 11 inches or 25 to 28 centimeters. The IFE system supports full HD video and offers a broad selection of movies, TV shows, music, and games. 
Passengers can connect their personal devices via USB ports and AC power outlets, which are standard across all classes. Additionally, the 747 supports Wi-Fi connectivity throughout the cabin, with some airlines offering high-speed internet suitable for streaming and VPN use, although performance can vary depending on the provider and flight route. The cabin lighting utilizes Boeing's Sky Interior LED system, which provides dynamic lighting that adjusts to different phases of the flight. The LED system can mimic various shades from cool blue for nighttime to warm orange and pink hues for sunrise and sunset, which contributes significantly to the passenger experience by creating a calming and relaxing atmosphere. The 747 benefits from significant noise reduction measures the combination of quiet engines and advanced acoustic treatments results in a cabin that is quieter than previous 747 models, particularly on the upper deck. Passengers can expect cabin noise levels to be around 52 to 58 decibels, making it comparable to newer aircraft like the 787 or a 350. Additionally, enhanced vibration dampening systems contribute to a smoother flight experience, even in turbulent conditions. The pressurization system is designed to maintain a cabin altitude equivalent to 6,000 feet at cruising height, which is lower than the 8,000 feet typical of older aircraft, but slightly higher than the 5,000 feet of the 787. The air circulation system is equipped with advanced HEPA filters that refresh the cabin air every two to three minutes, ensuring a continuous supply of clean, fresh air with consistent temperature and humidity control. The lavatories, particularly in the premium cabins, are spacious and feature modern amenities, such as touchless faucets, full-length mirrors, and in some cases, a window in the first-class cabin. Some airlines have also added luxurious finishes and high-quality personal care products in the first and business-class lavatories. Now let's step into the cockpit. The 7478i builds upon the familiar design language of the 747-400 but incorporates substantial updates that align it with Boeing's more recent wide-body aircraft, such as the 787 Dreamliner. The flight deck layout is designed for efficiency, situational awareness, and ease of use, ensuring that pilots transitioning from earlier 747 variants face a minimal learning curve. The most noticeable update is the five large LCDs, which replace the older CRT displays found in the 747-400. These high-resolution, full-color displays are configurable, providing a clean and uncluttered interface. The LCDs include two PFDs, two NDs, and an MFD in the center, which is used for system monitoring and status information. This layout is similar to that of the 787, promoting commonality and easing cross-training for pilots certified on multiple Boeing types. The cockpit is equipped with dual EFBs, which are mounted on either side of the cockpit. The EFBs are Class III devices, fully integrated into the aircraft systems, and capable of replacing paper charts, manuals, and performance calculations. This not only reduces pilot workload, but also enhances operational efficiency through real-time updates and interactive tools. The avionics suite is a significant upgrade from earlier models, incorporating the latest in avionics technology. It features an advanced integrated modular avionics architecture, which allows for greater system integration, reliability, and future upgradability. The IMA system consolidates various avionics functions into fewer, more powerful computing modules, reducing the overall weight and complexity of the system. At the heart of the avionics suite is the flight management system, which has been upgraded to handle more complex flight profiles and provide enhanced navigation accuracy. Uh, the FMS is capable of RNP operations down to RNP 0.1, allowing the aircraft to follow highly precise flight paths with minimal deviation. This capability is particularly beneficial for approaches into airports with challenging terrain or for operations requiring high precision, such as those involving steep approaches. The 747 is equipped with an ADS-B system, which enhances situational awareness by providing real-time position information to ATC and nearby aircraft. This system is integral to the global shift toward performance-based navigation and air traffic management, improving both safety and efficiency. The autopilot and auto throttle systems have also been refined, offering multiple modes for precision control throughout all phases of flight, 
the auto throttle system is fully integrated with the FMS and can manage thrust settings to optimize fuel efficiency while ensuring smooth and safe operations. The autopilot includes multiple vertical and lateral navigation modes, such as VNAV and OLNAVI, allowing for seamless management of complex flight profiles from takeoff to landing. The cockpit is equipped with state-of-the-art communication systems, including dual VHF radios, HF radios with CellCal, and a SATCOM system. The SATCOM system supports both voice and data communication, providing global coverage for long-haul operations. The aircraft is also equipped with CPDLC, which allows for digital communication between the cockpit and ATC, reducing radio congestion and improving the clarity of instructions. In addition to CPDLC, the 747 features FANS 1A capability. This enables seamless communication over oceanic and remote areas where traditional VHF communication is not possible. The integration of FANS 1A with the FMS allows for dynamic rerouting, ensuring that the aircraft can take advantage of favorable winds or avoid weather systems, further optimizing fuel efficiency and reducing flight time. Boeing has incorporated several advanced systems into the 747 to enhance situational awareness and safety. The aircraft is equipped with an EPWS, which provides terrain awareness and alerts for potential obstacles. The system's terrain display is shown on the navigation displays, giving pilots a clear visual representation of the surrounding terrain. The TCAS-2 is also standard, featuring both vertical and horizontal resolution advisories to prevent mid-air collisions. This system is integrated with the aircraft's autopilot, allowing it to automatically adjust altitude in response to a TCAS advisory, thus improving reaction times and safety margins. Another critical safety feature is the weather radar system, which includes predictive wind shear detection. This radar system is fully integrated with the aircraft's displays, providing pilots with real-time weather information, including turbulence, lightning, and precipitation. The radar's predictive capabilities allow for early detection of wind shear, giving pilots more time to react and adjust their approach or departure profiles. While the 747 retains the conventional control yoke, it incorporates elements of fly-by-wire technology and specific subsystems. The primary flight controls are hydraulically actuated, but the spoiler and elevator feel computer, CFC, provides artificial control feel via an electronically managed system, giving pilots a precise and consistent handling experience. The yaw dampers, which enhance directional stability, are also managed electronically, reducing pilot workload during high altitude and low speed operations. The 747 does not fully implement fly-by-wire as seen in the 787 or Airbus A380, but it includes significant digital control enhancements that improve flight handling, reduce pilot workload, and increase system redundancy. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Boeing 747-8i is powered by four advanced GE NX2B 67 engines, which incorporate state-of-the-art technologies for fuel efficiency, emissions reduction, and reliability. Developed from the General Electric GE NX family, they were was specifically engineered for the 7478, delivering up to 66,500 pounds force of thrust per engine. These high bypass turbofans feature a fan diameter of 105 inches or 2.67 meters with 18 composite fan blades that provide significant weight reduction while maintaining strength and resilience. The GE NRX 2B67 uses a twin annular pre-swirl combustor or TAPS which lowers nitrogen oxide emissions while ensuring efficient combustion. A unique low pressure turbine coupled with a high pressure compressor with a pressure ratio of 23 to one enables the engine to deliver exceptional fuel efficiency. The use of advanced composite materials and fan casings and other components contributes to weight reduction and improved performance. Each engine is also equipped with full authority digital engine control or FADAC to provide precise management of power output, optimizing fuel consumption, and reducing pilot workload. The aircraft requires approximately 10,500 feet or 3,200 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day, with a maximum takeoff weight of 987,000 pounds 
or 447,700 kilograms and a maximum payload capacity of 167,700 pounds or 76,100 kilograms. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 2,500 feet per minute or 762 meters and a maximum ceiling of 43,100 feet or 13,140 meters. The plane has a maximum cruise speed of Mach 0.855, equivalent to about 493 knots, a maximum range of 7,730 nautical miles, which is 8,900 miles or 14,320 kilometers, and a minimum landing distance of 6,750 feet or 2,060 meters. And finally, the base purchase price for a new Boeing 747-8i is $420 million before options. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.